Hello, welcome to our channel again. I'm Samantha Trinidad. I'm the owner of Madison Ballroom Company and welcome to Ballroom Snacks. Okay, so today what we are going to talk about is warming up our body properly. So the last video I had, we started with these rumba walks, and even though that is a great way to get your body situated in and ready for class, I want you to even before doing that, get your body warmed up, and this is how we are gonna do it. So let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just tuck my chin and roll down my spine. I'm just going to hang out here for a little bit. Don't feel like you need any tension. And then one vertebra at a time, we are just going to slowly roll back up and then you're going to open your heart to the sky. Just be careful not to crunch your neck back. Now I'm just moving this a little bit more narrow and I can go all the way down to the floor but only stop where it's comfortable for you. I'm just going to sway back and forth. I just want to start warming up the spine a little bit more and then stacking the spine one on top of another. I'm just going to roll back up. Now, to build a little bit of heat, I'm just going to start marching and then I'm going to go up onto my toes and then I'm going to come back down and then go back up onto my toes and then back down. I want to start swinging the arms a little bit more, get the whole body involved here. There we go. And then we are just going to shake it out a little bit. Okay, lifting one arm, I'm going to just stretch over. And when I do this, I want to think of inhaling as the arm comes up and then exhaling as I stretch over. I don't want to crunch my other side, so I want to lengthen the spine first and then stretch. I inhale on the way back up and then I exhale, bringing the arm back down. Inhale, bring the arm up and stretch over exhaling. Good come back up and then let the arm come down. Now I'm going to start rolling the shoulders back nice and easy. We don't need to do too much with this and then I'm going to roll the shoulders forward. Again, we're just warming up so you don't have to go all out into this. And then I'm going to roll the shoulders back a couple of times and then I'm going to swim back with my whole arms. And notice I'm not putting a ton of stuff into it. I'm just letting the body move and then I'm going to swim forward a couple of times. Now from here, this is from my modern professors back in college. They like to describe this as the washing machine. So think of your spine as the agitator and then your arms as the clothes in the washing machine. You're just going to move the spine and let the arms just go. They're going to move with that spine. Now from here, I'm going to point, flex my foot, point, and then back, point, flex, point, and then come back, point, flex, point, and back, really moving through those toes. I know they're in the shoes, but we just want to get them warmed up. Now from here, I'm going to start to, well, I guess we're going to do one more time. And then I'm going to put my hands on my hips, do the same thing, but this time we're going to roll the foot outward about eight times and then inward eight times just getting those ankles and feet nice and warm give it a little shake and then do the other side point flex and then we're going to circle the ankle outward switch circle the ankle inward and then we return now from here, I like to give a little shake to one leg, shake the other leg, and then shake your whole body like a doggy getting out of the shower. So I hope you are feeling warmed up. That is a quick way to just build some heat into the body. I always recommend warming up before any lesson that you have. Don't just go into it cold turkey because it is going to lead to an injury. Always make sure that you are practicing safe dancing. So. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, make sure to hit that notification bell, and I will see you next time.